Here's another combo unit problem where we're trying to convert 2.85 grams per milliliter to pounds per gallon. So remember with our um, combo unit conversions, we are really focusing in on making sure we can convert our numerator unit to a new numerator unit. So really we're trying to change grams to pounds and we're trying to change our denominator to denominator, milliliters to gallons. So one of the reference tools that you want to be aware um, that's available to you is the back of your periodic table. The back of your periodic table has a few conversions for you and it does have a conversion from pounds to grams. Now keep in mind we know that grams is a weight, grams is a force, so this is a conversion that is applicable here on earth. Okay, so. We know that one pound is equivalent to 454 grams. All right, so here's our given. Here's what we want. This whole thing's the given, by the way, not just the unit. And I've just mentioned that the first ratio we are interested in is uh, the conversion between grams and pounds. Now we want to think about all the conversions that will help us change from milliliters to gallons. One thing that... Um, kind of sticks out to me is that milliliters and gallons are a conversion from metric to USCS. So that back of your periodic table is going to have your conversions that will help you change from metric, like liters, to USCS. So this conversion is also going to be useful to us. But not only are we going to need this conversion from liters to quarts, we also need to dig deep in our brains to figure out how liters is related to milliliters, our metric to metric, and how our quarts are related to gallons, our USCS to USCS. If you want to hit pause and try to come up with those ratios on your own first, that's always a good idea, but if you need a little bit of guidance, keep watching, or you can refer to um, the conversion paper that you received in this class. Now this conversion paper will not be available for you to view during a test or quiz, but I think it's okay for us to look at it um, just as we're trying to figure out our conversions for our, our study packet and note packets. So I already showed you a conversion from liters to um, quarts. This is your conversion, which you should know this off the top of your head, from milliliters to liters. So we know milliliters to liters, liters to quarts. Here's your conversion from quarts to gallons. All right, milliliters to liters, liters to quarts, quarts to gallons. All right, now that we have all of our ratios, um, let's go ahead and start the problem. We start with the given, in this case, not given over one, since we have a combo unit that we're starting with, 2.85 grams per milliliter. I went ahead and have the one milliliter there. You don't need the one. Um, it's just a spot filler. Some people, when they don't see uh, numbers, they have the tendency to... Uh, put a number there and I don't want you to accidentally do that. So that's why I just put one as a spot filler Let's go ahead and convert our numerator now grams to pounds We'll use this ratio grams in the denominator to make sure our units cancel diagonally pounds in the numerator Now I need to convert my milliliters my milliliters is in the denominator and I need milliliters in the numerator Excuse me. Um, and now I'm going to apply my liter to quart conversion because I need my liters to cancel it with liters. And that's equal to one quart. And finally, four quarts in a gallon. I do want to make sure as a double check that all my units cancel out diagonally. And um, because we're starting off with this denominator unit and the combo unit, our diagonals are going to be in the opposite direction than we've typically been seeing in our dimensional analysis problems. So there are milliliters cancel out, liters cancel out, quarts cancel out, leaving us with gallon in the denominator, which is great because that's what we want. So pounds over gallon, pounds over gallon, let's proceed with the numerical calculation. Now I'm going to type it in from left to right just so I don't miss anything. I have 2.85 divided by 454 times 1000 times 0.946 times 4. I skipped all the ones because numerically, mathematically, anything multiplied and divided by 1 is itself. So save yourself the time. Calculator spits out this answer. 
Think about how many sig figs should be in your answer. And I see three sig figs in the given, therefore I will round my answer to three sig figs. One, two, three. Seven rounds up to an eight because it's sitting next to five. And my final, final answer is 23.8 pounds per gallon.